But above all, I will never forget who this victory truly belongs to. It belongs to you. Change has come to America. A government of the people, by the people, and for the people has not perished from the earth. This is your victory. Great. Great. Yes! Woo. Thank you. Thank you, America. Let's now celebrate choosing change. Working together again. Imagining what's possible. And when we are done celebrating, repair the damage and get a global treaty to stop climate change. Make poverty history. Use diplomacy to pursue peace. Make human rights and democracy respectable again. Strengthen the United Nations together we can do it. So from all of us around the world who could not vote, and those of us who did, President Obama, it won't be easy. But together, as one world, we can. The people have chosen change. Together. 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 Working together. Let's make it happen. The times are changing. Next to the Lincoln Memorial in the center of Washington, where Martin Luther King gave his I Have a Dream speech, a message board for Barack Obama. Some of his keenest supporters wishing him well, hoping that his administration lives up to its promise. It's a visible sign of the excitement and hope many people are feeling about this election. Thousands of people are leaving messages on a huge 24-foot message board outside the Lincoln Memorial. There are now so many notes, the wall is entirely covered. I'm, I'm overjoyed. Okay. I'm speechless. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not just glad. It's, it's beyond words. Okay. This is a dream come true for me. In fact, you have people sending emails in from around the world, 189 countries. We as a country unite behind him to make sure that he is able to lead this country in a, in a better direction. I felt that because um, Barack had lived in Indonesia, um, a Muslim country, he'd get the feeling, he'd understand that um, people in that fundamentally different belief system are still people and are still deserve respect and understanding and everything like that. After what we've been going through for these past years, especially with the war in Iraq, it's really been hurting us and all the lives we've had to see pass away. And so I really think that Obama can help and change us and I, even though I can't vote yet, I would have voted for him. I'd encourage him to take the lead and bring his vision and energy to Poland in December to the UN Climate Talks and lead the world to a new era of clean, green, job-filled prosperity. People from around the world are sending messages to our new president-elect because the consequences of a shift in American foreign policy is so significant for the world on climate change, on the war in Iraq, on uh, the defense of human rights. And the messages that you're seeing up here are those messages to, to President-elect Obama to say, this is the platform that you came in on and we look forward to working with you in achieving those goals. The messages come from 180 countries. 200,000 more have been sent to the online global site avaz.org, which put up the wall. 